So I'm here on Duval Street and looking in this direction will lead you all the way to Mallory Square where the Sunset Celebration is located. My hotel, the Duval House Hotel, is down there on the right hand side. So over here to my left is Old Town Tavern. This is, you come down Duval Street, you're going to make a right hand turn at Old Town Tavern and you're going to go one block and on that corner is going to be the Hemingway House. So there's other ways you can get to the Hemingway House, but I'm just showing you how to go from Duval Street. So I'm walking next to Old Town Tavern. Be careful of your footing. There is grates, um, utility receptacles on the ground. It's uneven walking through here, so just to be, but it's actually pretty nice down this way. So you're walking through a residential area. These are where people live. And you can see the name of the street that you want to turn on. The street signs are painted on the poles. And then this brick walled area here is the corner of the Hemingway house. And it's very famous for its six toed cats. And that's what the fencing is for, is to keep the cats in. And as we're coming, we're just gonna come down here and make a left hand turn at the corner. There is wheelchair accessibility here. All right, we're gonna make a left-hand turn and the Hemingway house is over here on the left-hand side. When you first come in, you see there is a wheelchair ramp at the ticketing booth, but you come around to here and there is bicycle racks here for you. And then as you come up the wheelchair ramp, you'll turn left and actually come in the back way to get up to the front level of the house. So you're just gonna come to this chained off area here. You're gonna lift up the chain off the hook. Place the chain back on the hook. And you're gonna walk or push the chair. It's uneven, but you're gonna push your wheelchair this way. And over here, you have a wheelchair access ramp to lead up to the main front door of the home. So it is railed off. It does give you access to some of the gardens, but it will lead you right up to the front door so you do not have to navigate the front steps. So it'll come through here and it'll lead you right back up here to the very front entrance as you go in. That way that wheelchair ramp gives you the availability not to have to access the steps here. As you come in the gate, there's a little bit of a bump up area that you have to go through, ticket booths there. You come around the corner here, there are steps. You could bump this up and get into the first level of the home. The second floor is not accessible, but I gave you a good walking tour. And as you come up with your ticket, there'll be a docent or a volunteer here that you'll hand a ticket to and they will offer for you to go through a guided tour or a, a self-guided tour. So we're gonna come in. In the self-guided tour, you can just meander through the house on your own. So I'm just gonna look through. So Ernest Hemingway was American author, born in 1899. He died in 1961, so he's 62 years old. One of his most famous works is The Old Man in the Sea, and he won a he won a Pulitzer Prize, and he also won a Nobel Prize for Literature. In World War One, he volunteered through an ambulance unit in France. And he's actually from 
Oak Park, Illinois, where he started his career off as a writer for a newspaper. So this is his home. This is one of the very popular tourist destinations here in Key West, especially if you've read Soro's works. So he's, he's known for novels and short stories. And there's the man right there. And the reason why Hemingway became a Key West resident is he kind of got marooned here. He got down here and then he started hanging out with some locals, drinking rum, and uh, just became infatuated with the city and the culture and, and how everybody lived in a relaxing pace down here. So he was like, you know what? I'm gonna stay for a while. So we're gonna go up to the second level. Just think about how many times Hemingway has climbed or stumbled up and down these steps. Especially if you get a chance to read Old Man in the Sea. It's great, this is some of his collection. So this is Hemingway's bedroom. The, the sculpture pieces in here. These are covers from his novels. And then this is his bathroom. And then we're gonna go across the hall. So they have depictions of his works and little quotation stories of his history. And this is one of the residents that lives here. I can't. Tell if that's real or not. I don't think that's a real cat. Oh, this is this is nice. I like this. The Spanish influence of tile.
And then you come back into the central stairwell area. So we're gonna enter back into Hemingway's bedroom and exit out onto the back deck area. So it's literally right across the street from the lighthouse, one block from Duval Street. So I have not seen any real cats yet. The one that was on the windowsill, I don't know if it was real or not. I think it was not. So the porch does not go all the way around the house, but it goes a significant dif distance. And then we're gonna go back and look at the studio in the back and look on the grounds. I'm gonna go downstairs and ask the young lady a question. So be careful going down these steps. And also, it is a low sign here. So definitely I'm five foot seven and I need to duck my head through here. And what do we found at the bottom of the steps? We have found a cat. A Hemingway cat. Meow, 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 meow. Trying to look at its toes. It's rumored to say that the cats have six toes. They have six toes? That's what they say. Some of the cats have I've, six toes, but. I've been counting them. I... Alright, so this is Hercules. Now these are federally protected cats because they are descendants of Hemingway's first cat. There's approximately 54 cats on the property and half of which have extra digits. Now Hercules here, let's see if I can show him. He's showing off his paw. The gentleman at the desk told me that Hercules has six toes or seven toes so he has an extra digit right there so I found one with a little help we're gonna walk around to the back of the house They do have fans in the house because it's, it's very hot today. And there is a basement level that is closed off. So there are steps down off the porch level to the pea gravel. So it'd be very difficult to push wheelchairs through this space. You can see the house here. We're just gonna follow the pea gravel around the corner. Nice little garden paths through here. Could you imagine 
him sitting here getting inspiration. And that is actually a cat box right there, which is really neat. So again, there are around 54 cats on the property, half of which have extra digits. The Pulitzer Prize for Literature and the Nobel Prize for Literature that he won is actually not here. It is in the Library of Congress on display. Because it is a natural national archive. Could you imagine in the early 1900s that a Floridian home has a, having a pool that is, that is very opulent for that period of time? That just speaks volumes, pardon the pun, of how wealthy Hemingway was during that period. You're walking towards the back of the pool. There are a restroom facility that you can use if you need to just here off the back of the pool and we're gonna walk around look at the ground level before we go up again watch the steps as you go up again more sorry there's another cat. Oh, I love that cat. He's hiding from me, so I'm not going to bother him. There's another cat. Okay, we're gonna head up these steps and again grab the handrail. So I believe this was his studio, personal library. I have seen photographs of him sitting in that area try to give you a good overview There's also a bathroom facility over to the right, looking out onto the pool. All right. Watch your step coming out. There is some transition change here. And then follow the arrows coming down. Look at that view across the top of the pool. Could you imagine the cats walking around the gutter system? And now we're going to explore part of the grounds. So we're just going to walk through the paths. So again, 54 cats. I've seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I 
I've seen eight cats so far. And they have cat boxes. Eight. So this is the cat cemetery here, where the cats that have lived on the property. They do have vending machines if you get thirsty. Little areas that you can sit and relax. And they're walking in the back of the pool house in his office area. So I'm currently up to 12 cats. Nice cool breeze through here. More cat boxes. One hidden over here. Meow, meow, meow. So they have cat kennels here, and I'm sure this is where they also feed in that little shack there. Yeah. Uh -huh.